Hello everybody. Today we are going to take up a topic of ratio and we shall study what a ratio is. Now what exactly do we mean by ratio? Ratio is a form of comparison. Now suppose you have a lot of information regarding two set of quantities or two or three more sets of quantities. How do we compare them? Now one method of comparison is comparison by difference. Now suppose we say I have rupees 45 on with me and somebody else say maybe my son has 55 rupees with me. So either you say I have 10 rupees less than my son. Okay. This we say you're comparing by difference. This you're comparing by difference and you come to know exactly who is having more or who is having less. There is yet another way of comparing that is comparison by division. Comparison by division means you divide 45 by 55. Yes, which can be written as 5 into 9 upon 5 into 11. 5 gets cancelled and we get 9 is to 11. We even write it as 9 is to 11. Which means that the ratio of the amount of money that I have and the amount of money that my son has is 9 is to 11. And the inverse ratio, remember the terms are very very important here. The ratio of my son's amount to my amount is 11 is to 9. So this becomes the inverse ratio of this. Hence, in this case, you are comparing that by the process of division. There is yet another interesting fact. If you see, you are writing it as 9 is to 11 or you write it as 9 by 11. So, for all practical purposes, this looks like a fraction. In fact, for most of the mathematical operations, whatever are the rules associated with fractions, the same rules are valid over here. But there is a slight difference in the meaning. Now let us take a ratio 3 is to 4. If you look at it as a ratio and 3 by 4 as a fraction, what does this mean? Now if you look at it as a fraction, if you take a particular part, you divide it and this 3 parts out of 4 is what is 3 by 4 if you look at it as a fraction in terms of meaning. But if you take 3 is to 4 as a ratio, the same whole is divided into 7 equal parts. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and maybe 7 equal parts. So out of these, this one of them is 3 parts and the other one is four parts. So the difference is this way in terms of meaning but for all practical purposes 3 by 4 as a ratio and 3 by 4 as a fraction mean the same, much the same. All the rules will be the same. You can multiply, we'll embark, we will talk about the various rules as we move ahead. But just to understand the slight difference in the meaning between 3 by 4 as a ratio and 3 by 4 as a fraction. There is just a difference in the meaning but the rules of mathematics will be the same whether you are treating it like a ratio or you are treating it like a fraction. And now, so now that we have a little bit of idea of what we mean by ratio, let us check what list we have, what we are planning to cover in this topic of ratio. So first we are going to start with what is a ratio. I just gave you a brief bird's eye view of what a ratio actually means. And we are going to talk about the various types of ratios. There are specific nomenclatures concerned with various types of ratio. I gave you a hint. For example, we did about a ratio 5 by 7. Its inverse ratio is 7 by 5. Similar to that, there are many other types of ratios. We will understand what these various types of ratios is. And then 
there is going to be a small quiz wherein we're going to see how to apply what we have learned, how do we apply them in solving specific problems. And we're going to do the most important part of mathematics, that is how do we apply the concept of ratio and all the types of ratio and what you understand by ratio to solve the various types of problems. Yes, so we start with what is a ratio. We'll go a little more into the details of what a ratio is all about. 